Oh, how I love Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. Oh, how I love Capricorn. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I am gonna let you guys come in. Hello, hello, hello. Capricorn, hello, you guys. Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm going to let you guys come in for a second here. I just got the chat pulled up here so we can vibe and thrive. Hello, MK Zato. Hello, Miss Joan. All right, you guys. Grab your snack. Grab your drink. I'm drinking some sweet tea today. I got my little bit of coffee over here and some cheese. It's mind your business. Mind your business. All right, let's turn the let's turn down the lights and hit, baby. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Latrice. Hello, 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 you guys. Okay, so Capricorn, Capricorn, what you need to hear what you need to hear, what you need to know. My loves. As y'all can see by the thumbnail, we had the King of Cups with the Two of Cups, right? There's a lot of emotion that's moving throughout the collective. There is a lot of feels and love and energy and this and that. It's feel good. Right? It's a feel good. It's a feel good thing. And there's also this energy of the lovers. It's the yin, it's the yang, it's the, du the duality, excuse me. It's the mirror, it's the reflection. And I want y'all to understand how this is not only being affected with you and another person romantically, but you and other people platonically, with yourself, your job, your career, your finances, like the whole, the whole thing, right? The whole, the whole shebang in life. And it's important for us to understand that when we are connecting and disconnecting, that we did once have some sort of harmonious energy with that thing. And that was once a part of who we were. And the reflection period here, Capricorn, before receiving or stepping into this new phase, this new period of life, is that of how it, how it was a part of you why it was a part of you and why it is no longer a part of you all right so let's go ahead and get into this reading capricorn i love and appreciate you guys so much thank you guys for being here smash that like button leave a comment down in the chat all right you guys let me know that you guys are here for today's emoji today's emoji today's emoji let's see Let's see, today's emoji, if you guys are here and you guys are ready for new beginnings and you guys are ready to, to reflect and you guys are ready to let go and to bring new energy into your life, I want you to leave a star. It doesn't matter what type of star, but I want you to leave a star in the chat box or down in the comment section. All right, you guys, I love you so much, Capricorn. This is your space. You guys know that. Let's get comfy, let's get cozy, get your coffee, get your tea, get your water, get your juice, whatever it is that you drink in, whatever it is that you snacking on. Here we go. Let 
Show us what we need to see here for Capricorn. Sun, okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, please, Spirit. Show us what we need to see. Mm-hmm. The tree, stability, and growth. Stability and growth, Capricorn. Look at this. Bottom of the deck is the triangle. Choices with indecision. It's time to make a choice, Capricorn. This is about a period of pruning to grow, digging your roots down deeper, and a part of grounding yourself is understanding. Right? A part of a part of grounding yourself is truly, truly, truly understanding here. Going deeper. Seven of Pentacles energy, right? Gaining the stability and the love and the growth in your own personal life, in your, in your pockets, right? In your bank account, in your heart, right? In your spirit, right? Let's get one more here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, please, Spirit. <laughs> mm. So you guys got three. You guys got the bear, the peacock, and the gate. All right. The bear is about strength. And it's about being resourceful. The peacock is about pregnancy. It's also about wealth. And the gate is about opportunities. And it is also about home. And I want you guys to understand, like, this, look, like, let's just look at this for a second. This gate energy, it's welcoming in new opportunities. It's welcoming you home. Home is about what? Stability. It's about growth. Capricorn, right? It's about where you feel the safest, right? Where you feel you are protected. And this peacock energy and this bear energy, <laughs> the peacock being about pregnancy and wealth, this is about the new opportunities that are coming into you, right? Pregnancy and, and wealth are pretty much one and the same thing because pregnancy is just about birthing something into existence, right? Pregnancy is about creating something. Oh, Alicia. Hey, baby girl. Congratulations. Girl, I'm so happy for you and everything that you've been going through. Hello, Lloyd. Hello, Becky. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Vintage Lace. Hello, Chantel. Hello, Dart. I love you guys so much. The bear energy here with this strength. This is about persevering as well, right? Persevering through, pushing through. There's a change, Capricorn, coming in your immediate life, your home life. It's a change in your stability. This is about you growing as an individual. This is about you growing in your partnerships, right? There's an opportunity that's coming in here for you opportunity that's coming in here for you that is truly about um evolution right and it, it's the evolution of the soul right it's not it's not just oh we're going from this to this no we're going from this to this i want you guys to understand you are expanding and this is this is the internal strength that you have as a individual as a person as a soulful being it's it's becoming heftier right meaning you're becoming stronger you're spiritually more resilient you're spiritually able to overcome and achieve certain things because of the lessons that you're learning in karmic relationships, karmic partnerships, and, re and remember, karmic relationships is also the relationships that we have, again, with our finances, 
our jobs, right? So think about how that can sometimes be karmic within yourself and how you're becoming a stronger, more resourceful individual here, right? A stronger and more resourceful individual. And it's, it's also in how the growth that you are obtaining is making you stronger, right? Because you're going from here to here as well. It's, it's the growth, the growth and the, the stability in your life that you're attaining that is making you a stronger individual as well. And it's, it's bringing and opening up opportunities for you as an individual, right? And again, this is going to be playing across the board in all aspects of your life and you kind of have to think about how am I you know shedding and letting go of karmic energy in my own personal life how am I growing as a person right which is also allowing me to grow in my interpersonal relationships bottom of the deck energy is the snake which talks about desires and attraction the heart, which talks about love and new love, and the envelope, which talks about unfolding and surprises, and the rabbit, which talks about pregnancy and fears, and the coins, which talks about luck and money. So what I'm going to have to tell you here is there's something very desirable. There's something very, mm, it's, it's basically like, <laughs> it's basically just like another another energy another cycle that's coming into your life this this snake desire attraction energy it feels really good i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie especially with it being attached to the heart and the envelope it's almost like this unfolding this unfolding amount of love and and just emotion and feeling it feels really really good and it's definitely going to lead to the birthing of something new so you're it's like getting into this energy of feel good, right? Whether this is happening within yourself, by yourself, and you are creating new opportunities, you are feeling just very inspired and, you know, creators and like you can create and it's like you guys are like surprising yourself with what you are unfolding. Um, you know, that that's amazing as well. Or this is about the the very very simplistic desire and attraction of another person, new love that is unfolding right in front of you. Okay, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and kind of dig into this energy and see where spirit wants us to go. Um, yeah, let's see where spirit wants us to go. All right, you guys, let's see what spirit has. Spirit, show us what we need to see in relation to this energy for the beautiful Capricorn collective, the Capricorns that are here, the Capricorns that are here for this message. Show us what we need to see as we work through the energy. Show us what we need to see as we work through the energy here, please, spirit, for Capricorn. Five of Swords, Four of Wands. So there is your stability. There's your growth. This is an energy of uh, union. It's an energy, <clears throat> excuse me, of togetherness. But that Five of Swords energy is very, um, it's very defeating. It feels very defeating, to be honest with you. You got the four of wands. You got the five of swords. Show us some more here, please, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs as it relates to this energy, please, Spirit. And you know that five of swords energy actually came out in um, the pre shuffle. And we have the Knight of Coins here. It's 
it's a very um, regretful energy. There seems to be an individual here. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody who's hardworking, yes. Someone who is on the realistic side, yes. And this is also a very cautious energy. Knight of Coins. Five of Swords, again, very defeating and very regretful. And it's in the realms of this connection, this situation. It's in the realms of this Four of Wands energy, this union, this partnership, this sense of stability. It's almost as if there is, especially if this is like for you on a personal level, you investing your time, your energy, your efforts, especially if it's into a job, some sort of financial opportunity, some, you know, I feel like this is you giving your energy and efforts to another, right? This is, this is like a company, this seems very like... A very dedicated individual, like someone who is very willing and hardworking and putting in the energy and effort. But this five of swords is very mental, right? And it, it's almost as if it's someone's regretful for almost I don't want to say investing because that's not for everybody. So for some of you, there may be this sense of uh, regret, maybe investing in some sort of financial opportunity or career type of situation. Uh, for others of you, there could definitely have been some sort of uh, mental conflict. And I feel like there's this regret around how that conversation or that situation was played out, especially with the Knight of Pentacles kind of going back over, being very thorough about the situation, about, you know, what had happened or what has transpired. And it is in the realms of some, like a union or a partnership or a relationship here, okay? Bottom of the deck is the ace of, pen, uh, ace of Pentacles or Ace of Coins, Ten of Coins, and Temperance with the King of Wands and the Magician with the Queen of Wands. So I do see there being a fresh start, a new beginning. Um, again, kind of working through overcoming the situation, especially with Temperance here. So whether this is... Um, This is this is somebody coming from either a job or a relationship. I mean, it's it's really very simple. It's either a job or a relationship which you're investing your your energy or efforts into. All right, let's clarify a little bit. Let's clarify a little bit with this these three cards. Tell us about the energy of the 5 of swords. Tell us about the energy of the Five of Swords for Capricorn. If you guys are here and you guys are grooving and enjoying this reading and you have not yet smashed that like button, I ask you to go ahead and smash that like button, you guys. It helps push the channel out there into this crazy YouTube algorithm so we can help find more family members and bring them home so we can share our messages of clarity, wisdom, and guidance together. All right. Tell us about this Five of Swords here. For the beautiful Capricorn. Tell us about the Five of Swords here. Tell us about the Five of Swords here. Mm, yeah, this is... 
this is like the regretful energy, right? And kind of reflecting and going over reviewing the situation and how things um, played out, right? Just really going over, just, just, just reviewing the thing. Just, 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 mm. did I make the right decision? Did I make the right call? Was that the right thing to say? Look at this, nine of wands and the devil here. I feel like this is a review of some sort of argument, disagreement, not seeing eye to eye on the situation. And it's in the realms of something toxic. I mean, Capricorn, this is your energy with the devil. We can't forget that. So you are showing up here. So this could be the way they feel about you, right? The way this person feels about you or this is about you personally, okay? Very regretful for how they treated you, how they spoke to you. Page of Pentacles, King of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. It's almost as if this person is wanting to try again. of cups <sighs> ace of cups let's see mm-hmm with the two of cups ace of cups two of cups there is a new beginning loving new beginning here seems like is coming through something that's very harmonious Something that feels good. Emotionally, it feels good. This is happiness. This is joy. This is emotional fulfillment. But there is a review of the situation, right? There's a, there's, there's a going over. Yeah. Eight of Swords. And having to break out of certain fears and mental blockages in order to truly do this and make this work and make this happen. Both parties, both people, especially if this is about another person, you know, if this is about yourself, this is about setting aside um, the fears, the ego in order to truly open up to an opportunity that is becoming available to you. Right. Um, and a lot of that is if, you know, fear of the unknown fear of repetitive energy, but if you're truly reflecting and you're truly healing and you're truly going over and doing the work and recognizing how not only you, but them are a mirror of each other here, then, you know, Makes it easier, but it's the opportunity is there. Let me just say that the opportunity is there to make this turnaround. Is it going to happen? That's I don't know. Like that's free will. I can't predict other people's free will, but this is the energy that is available to be used. And that's what's important to recognize. Like if you are doing your own thing and this person, this, you know, second party, second energy is not coming around or whatever, continue to do your work because then you will reflect back externally something that is on the same page. Okay. Oh. 
show us more here, please, Spirit, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, please. You've got the star. There's destiny and fate involved in the situation. Everything is happening in the way that it should. This is you needing to just have faith and trust that things are going to align. Trust that the stars will align in the manner that they are meant to. And this is in every, every meaning of the sense here. Just allow and allow, allow things to align. You have the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. There is truly a decision that's being made. Um, I feel like there is clarity where there was confusion. Um, and there's a lot that is being spoken here. This is really nice, actually, because it shows us that there's clarity um, amongst the the confusion that may have been there. And it may not have even been confusion. It could have just been um, a choice or a decision needing to be made. Somebody having, you know, multiple options or decisions, but somebody finally speaking up and out about what they want, giving clarity and being honest that this is what they want. This is who they want. Somebody may also just, um, be very fantastical as it relates to life in general. Um, and it's, it's really hard to sometimes manifest when there's just energy all over the place. And I feel like there's a streamlining, especially spirits coming in and asking you, you know, what is it that you want, especially when, um, you're kind of going through these difficulties uh, mentally and emotionally, because especially if this is about, you know, finances or a career type of situation, you can go through a lot of mental turmoil that, you know, you hide inside that you continue to deal with on a day to day basis. And it's it's very. Um, it can be disheartening sometimes, especially when you're not achieving what you're looking for. But again, we have to be very streamlined. And, and that's what this is. This is the Knave of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the, the Knight of Swords, and it's streamlining your truth, right? And you bringing clarity to, to spirit, to the universe about what it is that you want and you are receiving that, right? You're trusting, you're having faith, you're putting that energy out there and you are receiving, again, this peacock energy um, pregnancy wealth you're receiving this manifestation that you are trying to bring into your physical reality and during that process you're gaining you know spiritual strength physical strength mental strength financial strength emotional strength all all the different strengths by learning how to overcome um, this this past energy that you have been feeling so you're growing. It's, it's, it's growth as an individual, but it's through the energy of understanding, right? And, and gaining clarity. All right, let's see. Show us more here, please, spirit. Tell us about the page of swords, the nine of swords and the ace of swords. Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, let's get one more, Ten of Wands, with the Four of Pentacles, bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands, the chariot and the tower. Okay. Somebody's going to talk to you, or this is me talking to somebody else, about said new opportunity here, Ace of Pentacles, right? 
And this is a physical opportunity in your physical reality. This is something that you can touch, taste, smell, see, feel, all of the above, right? And this is a very stable and trustworthy opportunity or person, right? This is something that it's almost as if how can I explain this? It's a craft, right? So whether this is a relationship craft, a um, career type of craft, it's like really enjoying 100% what you are doing, who you are with, the energy that you are in. Because it is very stable. It is very reliable. Okay. So this could be a new job. This could be a new person. All right. But I feel like there's no longer this. heavy sum energy that is following you because it's coming from this ten of wands and I'm telling you this ten of wands feels just like okay I'm done dealing with all of this like I'm ready to move forward this is the end of the cycle this is too much right and you're ready to manifest something new like you're it's it's like you're fed up with whatever this is and there that's what this is there's something new coming in it feels good it's reliable, it's steady, it's stable. It's stable. And it's something that you can grow with. It's something that you can move with. It, it's not, it's not like these other energies that you've been involved with recently. It's a very stable situation. And I feel like it makes you feel really good. I feel like it makes you incredibly happy. Capricorn, this is beautiful. Because truly, you're birthing something into existence for yourself. And I really do enjoy that. You got obstacles trying to come out here. Woo! Is a little whistle. It's overcoming obstacles, challenges in your relationships, in your connections. But what are those obstacles? Like, truly, what are the obstacles that you're dealing with that you are trying to overcome in these partnerships, in these connections? Show us what we need to see here, please, Spirit. For Capricorn. You guys got the 1111 card. 1111 is an important number for Twin Flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. Bottom of the deck is bond. A love bond grows stronger over time. Show us more here for Capricorn. Empress Goddess, Dope and Divine, hello babies. M Sweetness, hello. Ashley, hey girl. Dana, hello. Kaz and Hada, hello. TMKZ, hello. Biscuit, what's up? Cruella and Patricia, hello, hello. Dawn, hello, hello. You guys also have soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust the process and this is also about your soul reconnecting to something that you've been involved with in the past life you do have the rekindle card at the bottom of the deck every relationship has magical bonds that can be 
rekindled here. Let's see. Show us what else we need to see for... Is there one that's flipped over? Yeah, what is this? The universe. You have the universe card. The universe is guiding you to a special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. All right. You have love and you have heart. Love conquers all and you begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. Bottom of the deck is obstacles, attraction, and remarkable. So again, overcoming these obstacles to come into this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blessing here. Yeah, let's get a closing message. Capricorn, I probably will also post um, another reading here later this evening. Probably not too, too late. Probably mm, in a few hours, maybe like two hours or so. Um, I have about six pre-recorded, uploaded readings that I just have not um, released for you guys yet. So I'm going to get titles on them and some of them I might actually end up just having like set for premiere. Um, but a lot of them are really powerful readings. So I just, I want to get that to you guys. We've got time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. Capricorn. Protection. You and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. With self-employment, you are born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities here. And you have dream big, let go of small thoughts about yourself and see yourself succeeding. Capricorn, this is, this, this is everything, right? This is everything. You are being blessed with a new cycle in your life, okay? And these cycles are gonna be different for all of us as individuals, of course, because we are different, right? And we have different lives and different paths and different purposes. But the energy for birthing new life, a new reality is here for you. A part of that, the biggest part of that Capricorn is the moving on. The moving on is <laughs> the reflection. It's the shadow work. That is what that is. And we have to understand, and this is, this is why I love kind of doing what I do and I want to be able to kind of like expand and do all this stuff for you guys because I always have so much to say and I could talk for hours and hours and hours and hours about so many different things and what I'm I'm trying to get at is understanding that it's very difficult sometimes for me to read multiple timelines right it's it's in a general reading, right? It's and the bigger the tribe gets, the more difficult it is going to get for me to give you and read multiple timelines. So I try to explain the best way that I possibly can so that way you can apply it to your situation without being super specific and making it like especially when we're doing our general readings like this I, I try to allow not only love and romance to come through but also very general energies because again we are adults we are going through life and it life is not just romantic love life is our platonic relationships life is our interpersonal connections life is our finances especially nowadays it's our bank account it's our jobs and careers 
careers and especially with how we feel about our jobs and careers. So I try to keep it very general and open, but I just want to let you guys know, like I try my very best to read multiple timelines for you guys because we are all on different pages, especially when it relates to love and to romance. So for example, this same reading, you know, some people are going to be rekindling a connection with somebody that they already have a connection with. Some people are currently in a relationship and they're dealing with certain things that need to kind of be mended and work through. And that's the growth as, you know, individuals in the connection and as the connection as a whole. And some of us, you know, are single looking for a connection some of us are single not looking for a connection so it's it's important for as a collective to realize that we are going to all be on different timelines even if the energy that we are feeling is the same the direction and where we're going all right so I with that being said um I'm either going to open memberships on the YouTube or I will move over and open up a small tier on Patreon so that way we can because let me tell you guys like I told you I have six pre-recorded readings that I just haven't released for you guys I get so many messages and downloads from the collective okay so many and when I mean I can talk for hours about different connections about I can talk literally for hours and and just talk and talk and talk about this kind of stuff so I want to be able to offer more and I and really I I enjoy going deep into the shadow right I, I enjoy going deep into those energies and going into those energies takes a lot of energy right so I want to be able to provide like shadow type readings, especially again, we are adults and we are going through a lot of career and financial um, changes and obstacles um, in our life right now. So I want to be able to do um, like money, um, shadow money readings for finances, inner child readings, um, providing prompts and things like that for journaling. Um, and really making it a, what I want it to be, like a soulful, a real soulful um, healing type of, type of page. So here we are, Capricorn. I love you guys so, so much. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, after I post this, like after we get done being, being live or whatever, on my community tab... I'm going to put a, just a general like thread box basically, and you guys will be able to leave like your comments and I would love for you to leave down in that comment, like in the comments, um, suggestions, like things that you guys are looking for because remember this I'm here for you and this is your this is your space Capricorn so I want you guys to feel very welcomed and feel like you are you know getting with what, what you came here for and understand that I do appreciate your time and your support and your energy so I want you guys to be able to get what you're looking for so I'm going to kind of put what I just said in a blurb and I'll put that on the community tab and you guys can leave your comments and your suggestions uh, down below. Um, the Patreon or membership energy uh, things that I was talking about will literally be like a 99 cent tier and like a 9.99 tier or a $2 tier, like very minimal because I just wanna be able to provide more you know what I mean I want to be able to provide more but also understanding that because of how I do what I do it's very energetically draining it's very energetically draining that's all um any other announcements any other announcements oh don't forget to check out the daily readings you guys over on my main page they are 
more general readings. Um, I do also provide like Twin Flame Soulmate love readings over there as well. I'll also be posting a true love story. If you guys have not been following that series over on my main page, I would suggest if you guys are um, feeling like you're in a Twin Flame or Soulmate connection, it's called A True Love Story. I have a playlist with all of the readings and I will be posting one on, the, on my main page later today as well. Um, so don't forget to check that out, but Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, anywhere from 7.30 to 9.30 in the morning, I post the daily over on my main page, Jasmine's Intuitive Tarot, and that link is also in the description box below, you guys. Um, we're trying to grow that tribe over there. I kind of like took a long break from that page, um, because I moved and all that stuff a couple years ago, so... I'm trying to get back and grow that page as well because that's pretty much just general readings, right? Um, let's see. I just love you guys and I appreciate you, truly. I do thank you because you don't have to be here. Um, you don't have to tune in. You don't have to listen. Um, it's something that you choose to do on your own free will. So I want to say thank you because sometimes we don't hear that we're appreciated enough. So Sometimes you can go all day, all week, all month without hearing that somebody appreciates you. So understand that I appreciate you, Capricorn. And I thank you for being here. All right. I love you guys. I thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your beautiful, beautiful Sunday or Monday, especially if you guys are over on the other side of the world. And I will be speaking to you all very, very soon. Bye, my loves.